We have to work more on our minds and we have to work more on, on trying to find ways to be happy instead of trying to um, uh, just fill this void. Forget about it. There are 600,000 food items in America. 80% of them have added sugar. Your brain lights up with sugar just like it does with cocaine or heroin. You're going to become an addict. You end up with one of the great public health epidemics of our time. I'm Sue Evelyn with Cine Movie, and today we're here with Kuno Becker, the Spanish narrator of Fed Up, a new documentary that will keep you thinking twice about food and the sugar in it. Mm -hmm. Wow, this documentary is really something else. They compare sugar to crack on the way that it kind of affects your brain. How crazy is that? It's totally crazy, it totally opened my, my eyes, uh, especially that's one of the facts that to me was shocking, just to realize the level of addictiveness that we have uh, with sugar and with uh, those incredibly strong drug, drugs like cocaine, for example, mm -hmm. uh, and the rats in, in the test were actually choosing um, sugar instead mm -hmm. of cocaine. That to me was shocking because I, I knew it was, it, was, it was a tough ingredient, it was kind of addictive, but I never ever thought it was like that much. And after watching the documentary, did you have second thoughts on what you ate? Because yeah, I know I did. <laughs> everything, everything. You know, I started making questions to myself and I started like uh, thinking about uh, how very uh, important is my body to me and, 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 and how a lot of times I don't even think about what I'm eating and how important it is for my life and for me and to be healthier and to, be, to, to live a longer life. A lot of times we talk about it and say that we want to do this and that and we want to live longer lives and be happy. At the end of the day, we are not coherent with that, eating what we eat. Mm -hmm. you know? And what was also shocking for me, one of those facts was that uh, the fact that the labeling was like uh, not saying everything Deceiving. that's in the in the in, in in this foods. You know, if you can call it foods, they're just it's just too crazy that the uh, the amount of misinformation and the hiding of of the real ingredients. It almost sounds like like when cigarettes were, you know, uh, advertising on TV and everybody thought it was just cool and. Started, people started to, started to realize that it caused cancer and, and all of, a lot of these foods are actually linked to cancer and all kinds of diseases uh, and they're actually killing people and making right. them sick. Right. Yeah. And Katie Couric, she narrates the English version. Was it a bit intimidating for you to kind of follow on to that act? It was, it was amazing. I, I'm so um, grateful and happy to be part of something that I believe in because most of the times as an actor you get to be part of a story or sometimes the last one I was able to actually, uh, uh, you know, write a script or whatever. And then at the end of the day, uh, there's very few times that you get the chance to be part of something that's actually real and is not just telling a story and you get the chance to use whatever name you have to this point to, um, to use it in a good way mm -hmm. and to use it to help someone. If it helps just one person or 10 people, I think that's it's going to be incredible. And if it opens the eyes of just, you know, one mother trying to help, you know, feed her family a little bit better, I think it's going to be a success, you know. I, I, just, I was just excited to be part of it and grateful and happy. And being from Mexico, do mm -hmm. you see the same problem there with obesity? And no, we actually habits. have a worse problem now because oh. uh, here in the States we're first place in obesity and now we are in the first place. So to me, that's, it's very sad. Um, being the second place is also very bad, obviously. But, uh, but I think it's, uh, the bottom line of the problem to me is that we have this incredibly huge emptiness and, and, and lack of spirituality. We have to work more on our minds and we have to work more on on trying to find ways to be happy instead of trying to um, uh, just fill this void with, with, with food or drugs or alcohol or whatever addiction you want. You, know. you have to change the diet of America. It's all preventable. 